Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. So what is MLOps? So as you know, like, you know, you heard about DevOps. So DevOps, if you are not uh, sure about DevOps, DevOps is nothing but it is a culture with a uh, 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 set of tools where uh, a, a, a a project will be delivered with continuous integration and continuous delivery. So DevOps means we will use some set of tools. For example, I can say like there are so many tools in the market for uh, like implementing DevOps. I can say like uh, Ansible is one tool and we have like Kubernetes and we have Jenkins. All these tools, right, they will help to like uh, uh, provide uh, or deliver a project end to end with continuous integration and, uh, and continuous delivery. What is this continuous integration and continuous delivery means? So whenever you do, you deliver a project, you follow the SDLC lifecycle. So here what will happen is, right, so earlier we used to do manually all this kind of, uh, like for example, uh, development or <coughs> analysis or development or testing. So all this, all this uh, SDLC we used to do manually. So this DevOps tools is helping us nowadays like to automate everything and uh, to to integrate all these uh, uh, sequence of steps uh, using one single pipeline and they deliver the solution at <coughs> at once. So DevOps is uh, it was a hot uh, skill uh, uh, in the market now and MLOps why it came into picture is right. You see here MLOps is uh, actually is a combination of these three, machine learning, DevOps, and the data engineering. Data engineering means most, some of the people like, uh, 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 like uh, for example, you, you already working on this database engineering, like you use database and you do database development. And uh, some people uh, work on big data, like big data means they do some ETL on big data. They will uh, pull some data and they, they do some data ingestion and uh, they do some transformations. They load the data into some target so this data is like, pipelines. yeah, data pipelines. So these are like data engineering. So machine learning means it is like, just like applying some statistical, uh, uh, like uh, techniques or uh, modelings to uh, on the data and get some uh, meaningful insights from that and it takes some appropriate decisions on that. So DevOps is a culture which will, a set of practices I can say, which will aims to deploy and maintain the products. So on the combination of these three, a MLOps uh, set of practices came into picture. And uh, if anybody will ask you like, what is MLOps, you can say it is a combination of uh, ML, uh, machine learning, DevOps, and data engineering. So there should be a coordination between these three groups. And uh, then only this uh, MLOps uh, object will be uh, uh, met because if you go to any any project, right, any data science project, uh, a data scientist may need some data, right? They will depend on data engineer. And the data engineer will provide some data and uh, data scientist will work on that and they will develop some models. And uh, to deploy that model, right, the data scientist may not have that, uh, he has to <coughs> coordinate with the operation people, where DevOps people will come into picture. So sometimes there will be a gap between uh, this data scientist and uh, DevOps people, operation people, and uh, they get some <coughs> like uh, miscommunication, and uh, the, the most of the uh, data science projects are getting were getting failed. So 90% of the projects were getting failed, which are not even used to deploy in the production. Then people started thinking about what is the solution. Then uh, they started integrating this machine learning, data engineering and the DevOps, and they came with this MLOps uh, uh, culture. So data engineering and the DevOps also people are using combinedly now called as data ops. So data pipelines with continuous integration and continuous delivery. So some people are looking for like, if you see in the market, you can see AWS uh, data engineers. They use AWS DevOps engineers. They do some data engineering in uh, uh, cloud. They use this data engineering and DevOps for that. We, we have openings for that also, AWS DevOps, Azure DevOps. These are called data ops. But here what we are talking about is MLOps, machine learning operations. 
that is data engineering operations which are this these two combinations uh, uh, which i am i was telling combine leave yes, yeah yeah so uh, nothing but like uh, if ml ops is a combination of this uh, devops and data engineer right so we need to yeah yeah the culture the, have, yeah 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 so we need to know little thing about these two uh, programs as well or uh, ml you, you should know what one. to require you should know whatever that is required to uh, fulfill your tasks with respect to machine learning and uh, what is the level of data engineering you should know and what is the level of devops you should it is not like you should be you should be a full uh, full stack devops engineer you need not like a full stack data engineer it is same so look basic it, yeah basic things we yeah, need you, to know like yeah. yeah you should know right what is happening if you want to integrate you if you want to connect the dots you need to know you should have some knowledge about these tools there are some tools it is not like you should know all the tools there are some tools which are which will fulfill this uh, uh, set of practices Uh, and uh, we should know those tools which we uh, we are going to discuss uh, in this training so how to use those tools on appropriate uh, uh, like uh, uh, you, how, how 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 to find out which tool is we have to use at uh, which stage for example for uh, uh, machine learning uh, model development i mean it's python for uh, 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 data engineering i, I can use some, uh, some some tools like uh, uh, spark and i can use for uh, scheduling the jobs i can use airflow and uh, model uh, versioning i can use kubeflow data versioning i can use dvc there there are some tools uh, i'll discuss all those things uh, 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 going for in the upcoming sessions but for now we just uh, 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 keep in mind that yes. ml ops is nothing but it's a combination of machine learning devops and data engineering this is okay this is, yeah okay, okay. Yeah. so so next what is the motivation of uh, uh, going for this ml ops so as i mentioned right so most of the people uh, uh, to to deploy the models in the production to operationalize this ml models this data scientists need to work with multiple teams it is like they have to uh, uh, like uh, work with business teams so they have to understand the business and the data engineering teams and they also need to uh, work with operations teams so business teams means uh, first the the first responsibility of any data scientist is to understand uh, what is what is what they have to uh, achieve what is the goal of the project so that they will come to know only after discussing with the business and engineering means they will go with uh, like uh, for example data engineering team what are the data required for my my uh, like machine learning uh, project so where i where, uh, so they will go and reach out to data engineering team they will collect the data and they will try to provide the data to data scientist and then once after they get the collect the data from uh, the data scientist will collect the data from this engineering team they start working on this uh, data analysis and they develop the models they uh, they build this models ml models machine learning models and they will uh, provide this models uh, and take the help from the operation people to deploy the models in the production usually so this this is what they have to do but this is not uh, not happening because they, there is a gap between because operation people may not know about machine learning right and uh, data engineering people may uh, it is not uh, mandated that they should know about machine learning they don't know how to what is the machine learning how to like uh, uh, deploy that so 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 this is this this gap is was there earlier so people are trying to overcome that uh, uh, gap using this ml ops like how to integrate this uh, machine learning and data engineering and uh, uh, this uh, <clears throat> devops so all these uh, uh, set of practices and they are trying to overcome this so that is the reason why people are running uh, now uh, motivated and uh, going behind ml ops in with respect to machine learning and uh, even the organizations are now if you see in the market right most of the people uh, they are looking for every data scientist should know this uh, like devops tools also like kubernetes docker and kubeflow there are some tools because they they want uh, that uh, people who can uh, who are ready to deploy the ml models in the production because there are no people to deploy the models in the production now there are diff there are so many tools to you uh, uh, that will help to deploy the model in models in production but uh, there are no people uh, uh, how to use them that is the reason maybe there are devops people are available but they don't know how what is the machine what is machine learning 
But data engineering people are there, but they don't know what is machine learning. At the same time, data scientists may not know what is uh, uh, about uh, uh, data engineering, how to deploy the model. Deploy the model in the sense, integrate, integrating the ML model outcome with the product, for example. Maybe, for example, uh, Amazon recommendations, right? You also, whenever you go and buy something in Amazon website, right? You will get some recommendations. So those are like real time, uh, uh, I can say analytics, where uh, uh, in the background, a, a machine learning model will run and uh, give some recommendations to you whenever you buy something. So at the same, at the same time, people are, uh, most of the data scientists does not know how to like deploy the models in the production. They stop at the development itself. That is the reason most of the data science projects are not uh, like uh, going to, into production. Now, uh, the goal of MLOps is to streamline, streamline those challenges with uh, this uh, set of practices. And also like uh, uh, MLOps will bring uh, uh, like agile uh, process into data science projects. Thanks for watching the video. For full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.